An armed confrontation between Russia and NATO seems indispensable. The US, the most dominant country in the alliance, is still the most powerful country in the world. However, NATO itself is weak, internal divided, and it has lost widespread support in Europe. Washington and Berlin are increasing the pressure on Russia. At the NATO summit in Warsaw, it was decided that NATO will install permanent troops in the Baltics. Germany will lead a battalion in Lithuania, Britain in Estonia, and Canada in Latvia. Other nations, such as France, will supply troops. It will be the first time since 1944 that German troops are stationed in the former Soviet Union. The NATO establishment also wants a permanent NATO Black Sea Force, but the Treaty of Montreux limits this. This treaty restricts the amount of foreign naval ships to pass the Bosporus. The NATO partners around the Black Sea are more divided than those in the Baltics. Romania is in the pocket of the US, but Bulgaria does not want a confrontation with Russia. Now it becomes clear NATO partners supported the failed coup at July 15, NATO has become an existential threat to the Turkish leadership. Without Turkey, NATO does hardly exist in the Black Sea. While a Crimea-like annexation of Narva, a Russian border city in Estonia, seems not very likely, Russian will not wait till German and US troops have besieged Russia. Moscow will wait for the optimal opportunity to exploit NATO's political weakness. It will seek the right time to show that NATO as an alliance does not exist. NATO was created in 1949 to keep the Russians out, the Americans in and the Germans down. The NATO alliance opposed the so-called Warsaw Pact. During the Cold War, the NATO member states maintained so-called standing armies with conscript soldiers. These fighters could be mobilized within hours the moment Russian tanks crossed the East German border. Since the collapse of the Warsaw Pact and the end of the Cold War, NATO's role became less apparent, and the organization struggled with its existence. Since 1999, NATO starts to expand in the direction of Russia, as Poland, the Czech Republic and Hungary joined the bloc. In 2004, more East European countries exceed. The Baltic states became the first former Soviet republics that joined the US-led alliance. If Finland, Ukraine and Georgia join NATO, Russia, western border is sealed off. The 9-11 terror attack resulted in the US invasion of Afghanistan and the subsequent invasion of Iraq. The US invasion of Afghanistan turned into a nation-building mission involving NATO. In 2004, NATO Secretary General Jaap de Hoop Scheffer stated that NATO has taken on a heavy responsibility in Afghanistan. We cannot afford to fail. We must be prepared for a long-lasting engagement. It will truly be a test of our will. Twelve years after the remarks of the Secretary, the Taliban now hold more ground in Afghanistan than at any point since 2001. The Afghanistan war assumed to eliminate Al-Qaeda and to safeguard the West from radical Islam terrorism. The US-NATO war in Iraq spilled over into Syria, created a stronghold for ISIS, the radical successor of Al-Qaeda. NATO intervention in Libya ended in chaos and turning the country into an ISIS stronghold that triggered a renewed wave of immigrants to travel from Libya to Europe. The alliance failed the European people and the organization becomes a liability to the security of European southern border. In 2015, NATO member Turkey sent millions of immigrants across the Aegean Sea, while NATO and EU member Greece transfer these people directly into European heartland. It is evident for the European citizens that the European security structure, including NATO, is not willing or able to defend the southern borders. While NATO is neglecting the security needs of the majority of the Europeans, it is escalating the conflict in the former Soviet republics. When the Soviet Union dissolved in 1991, about 30 million Russians were divorced from their home country, and now minorities in new countries. 25% of the Estonia population is Russian, 23% of the Kazakh population is Russian, 25% of the Latvia population is Russian, and 70% of the Ukrainian population is Russian. Many of the former Soviet republics suffer from ethnic disputes that were not properly solved during the breakup of the Soviet Union. 
So when the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991, Mr. Kaponenko, like many Russians, was not automatically granted Latvian citizenship and lost his job in Riga City Council. Today he is classed as a non-citizen, which means he is still not allowed to work for the state and does not have the right to vote. Around 300,000 Russian speakers, or 13% of Latvia population, are so-called non-citizens. But Russian interest is not limited to its population. Ukraine inherited about 30% of the Soviet military industry, which at the time encompassed 50 to 60% of Ukrainian enterprises. The entire Russian Black Sea Fleet ended up in Ukraine. Baikonur Cosmodrome, the largest operational space launch facility, is located in the desert of Kazakhstan. It is leased by the Kazakh government to Russia until 2050 and it is managed jointly by the Roscosmos State Corporation and the Russian Aerospace Forces. Russia fought a bloody war in the Russian Caucasus Republic Dagestan and Chechenia. The Pansky Gorge in Georgia had often been used as a base for rebels and a transit of shipments of arms and Islamic militants, including foreign fighters from Afghanistan and Arab countries. By expanding NATO into the former Soviet Union, NATO, by all purpose and intention, made West Europe part of the brewing conflicts between the old Soviet republics. After the so-called peaceful demonstrations in Ukraine, the overthrow of the government and the meddling by the US in the former Soviet Republic, Russia surprised Washington and Berlin by the annexation of Crimea. While the West is skeptical about the referendum, it is clear that a majority of the people in Crimea are behind Russian move. The problems between Russia and Ukraine have intensified the tension between Russia and Berlin. The Kremlin has now warned at least three times that it will not tolerate further expansion of NATO and that it is willing to act. In 2014, Russia Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov stated that Ukraine NATO membership is part of Russian business. Russia will not accept Ukraine become a NATO member. In May 2016, Putin warned at a joint press conference with NATO partner Tsipras that Romania and Poland could find themselves in the sight of Russian rockets because they are hosting elements of US missile shields that Moscow considers a threat to its security. If yesterday, in those areas of Romania, people simply did not know what it means to be in the crosshairs, then today we will be forced to carry out certain measures to ensure our security. In June, Putin told Finland, Russia will react with military force if the country becomes a NATO member. After these blunt warnings, it can be no surprise there will be a limited response. Russia will exploit the internal weakness of NATO. Apart from Poland, the population in most European member states are not willing to fight a war against Russia on behalf of some former Soviet republics. The relation among the NATO members themselves is hostile. NATO members do not have any problem to support a coup against Tayyip Erdogan, but Turkey sees no problem to unleash a refugee crisis on its European partners. Greece, responsible for protecting Europe's southeast outpost, welcomes millions of immigrants to set them undocumented over the border direction Germany. While NATO complains about Russia airspace violations, Turkey deliberately violates Greece airspace to provoke its NATO comrade. While in 2015 NATO was directing its forces to the Baltics, the organization was completely absent as million young Arab men march on European heartland. There is no desire among the German and French population to sacrifice their youth in an old Russian conflict somewhere in a country they probably cannot find on the map, when at the same time millions of young Africans and Arabs are causing problems in Europe. In France, Front National is against NATO membership. In Germany, NATO support is declining rapidly. According to Pew Research, 55% support the alliance now. European NATO member states are struggling to live within their means, and with a worsening security situation in their countries, they are not able to spend more money on defense. If NATO pushes Russia to the limits, Russia will react. It will be at the moment the European leadership expected the least. Russia will look for a situation where it can attack one of the member states without any other state willing to come to its defense. 
it will be the end of the illusion called NATO.